Welcome to a very unexpected Butterflies of the Biosphere. I'm here with Colin Knight on a site between Lewis and Falmer on the A27. I have to say we're here because we're inspired by Crispin Holloway's recent video showing you how you could find your own Adonis Blue Caterpillar. Well, we were here for just 10 minutes and we found one. I can't believe it. Great camouflage, got it. Fabulous, isn't it? Well, what are we going to do for the rest of the afternoon? <laughs> <laughs> Right, Colin, we were here, what, five or ten minutes and you found that caterpillar. I mean, how did that make you feel? Oh, I was absolutely delighted. I mean, it's amazing to find that caterpillar uh, with its ants crawling over it. What a delightful scene that is. And you know, part of the reason why I'm doing the Butterflies of the Biosphere is that I'd like a lot of people to understand what joy it brings to be a part of nature in that way, to participate and to see something so remarkable. In an earlier conversation, you brought up the concept of symbiosis, whereby two organisms uh, both benefit from a, a partnership. Uh, and we were saying that's really unusual to see. Oh, it is. You very rarely see it in action. I mean, to see those ants crawling over it um, and, and, and the larva just staying there, acquiescent, I was wondering, is it nice for the larva or, or, or is it an irritant? Could you imagine it? I mean, it doesn't seem to wriggle about. It just stays there, doesn't it? Well, no, it, it gets a lot of benefit from this relationship. No, I appreciate that. And I understand that the, the ants will uh, fiercely protect it because they've got this lovely honeydew that they, they gain. But, uh, but I just wondered what it would feel like. <laughs> what, do you th what do you think the benefit of doing this is, coming out here and, and, and just doing a video? I mean, both you and I know that these videos aren't quality of David Attenborough or anything like that, but that's not the point, is it? No, I think it's just to stimulate interest in people. I mean, anyone can do what we've done this afternoon. Come out to a site and, if they're lucky, find something like the Adonis caterpillar yeah. and uh, be delighted by it. And like I said yesterday, it's always great when you find what you come out to look for is some sort of amazing uh, it's like a stone age caveman uh, ritual that goes on in your psyche isn't it you're pleased that you found it but at the same time if you don't well, you always find amazing things as well we didn't expect to see the dingy skippers and we didn't expect to see the green hair streak absolutely you never know what you're going to find i'd love to be able to say that we've had uh, lots of nice sunshine and really clean fresh air but by the a27 <laughs> i don't know that is true we certainly had the sunshine <laughs> we have <laughs> anyway colin thank you very much well thank you for bringing me here dan you're welcome well the good weather is really bringing out the butterflies now and we'd love to hear about your records from around the biosphere so if you have any please put them up on the facebook page for butterflies of the biosphere or you can put them on the sightings page of the Sussex branch of butterfly conservation. So until the next time I see you, good luck.